So far, we have been working with a single property in our counter state. Now, in this lecture, we are going to add one more property to our counter state, and there we are going to understand a downside of subscribing to a state. So, let's go to VS Code. And here, let me close these files. We don't need it for now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open custom input component. So here, let me open custom input component.html. There you will see that we also have a button here, which I'm calling as toggle button. So if I go to our application, let me close this console here. So here we have this button. So this is our toggle button. Now what I want is when this toggle button is clicked, if this div is visible, it should be invisible. And if it is invisible, it should be visible. So actually, let me show you that practically. So what I'm going to do is in the custom input component.ts, I'm going to create another property. I'm going to call it as show custom input. Okay. It is going to be a Boolean value. And initially, I'm going to set it to false. Let's save the changes. Now let's go to custom input component.html and I want to render this div only if this show custom input this property is true. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ng if statement here. And since it is a structural directive, I'm going to use star and then ng if. And to that, let's assign show custom input. If I save the changes now and if we go to our application, you will see that custom input div is not visible. If I change the value of this show custom input property to true and if I save the changes, then it should be visible. Okay, so initially I'm going to set it to false. So initially it will not be visible. Also, what I want to do is in the UI where we are displaying this plus button, there I'm going to write string interpolation syntax. And here I'm going to check if show custom input, if its value is true. In that case, I want to return hyphen like this. Otherwise, I want to return plus. So if I save the changes and if we go to our application, here it is showing plus. But if I change this to true and if I save the changes then in that case it is showing minus so basically this is a button and when this button is clicked we want to toggle this div for that what we are going to do is we are going to create a new state so let's go to counter state.ts and here I am going to create a new state let's simply call it as toggle okay and initially I am going to set its value to false and here we have an error because we also need to add this toggle property in the counter state interface. So I'm going to call it as toggle, which is going to store a Boolean value. All right. Now we are going to create an action. So let me open counter.action.ts. And again here, let's create an action. Let's call this action toggle custom input okay and to create an action we are going to use this create action function and to this we need to specify the name for that action basically the value for the type for that action so again here i'm going to call it as toggle custom input and here we are not going to pass any data so i'm not going to specify any props for this let's save the changes now let's go ahead and Let's add a reducer for this action. So let's go to counter reducer.ts. And here I'm going to add a reducer for this. So to add a reducer, we use on method. There we specify the name of the action for which we want to create a reducer. Here I'm going to create a reducer for toggle custom input action. And what do I want to do whenever this action is dispatched? In that case, I want to execute this function and this function is going to receive the current state so from that current state first of all i'm going to return an object here 
in that object i'm going to extract all the properties so currently in our counter state we have two properties counter and toggle so i want to extract both these properties and since this state is going to receive that counter state we are going to extract those two properties and out of those two properties here i only want to change the toggle property right i don't want to change the value of counter property i only want to change the value of toggle property so what do i want to do here first of all let's get the current value of the toggle state so that i can get from this toggle property of this state again this state is going to receive this object and in that object we have this toggle property which we are accessing here so if the current value of toggle is true i want to change it to false and if the current value of toggle is false i want to change it to true so for that I'll simply use not operator before this toggle property and it will invert the value of the toggle and it will assign it to this toggle property. So a new state will be returned where the value of counter will be the current value, but the value of toggle will change. So if the previous value was true, it will change to false. And if the previous value was false, it will change to true. Let's save the changes. So here our reducer is ready. We have already created an action. Now we are going to dispatch this action. Now, when do we want to dispatch the action? We want to dispatch the action when this button is clicked. So let's go to custom input component dot HTML file. And on this button, so let me move this to a separate line to make it more readable. And then on this button, I'm going to add Basically, I'm going to bind click event and whenever the button is clicked, I'm going to call a function on toggle clicked and let's go ahead and let's create this method. So let's go to custom input component and here I'm going to create that method. And from here, what I want to do, I want to dispatch an action. So again, I'll say this dot to dot dispatch and which action do I want to dispatch? I want to dispatch toggle custom input and we need to call it like a function. Okay. Now, why do we have this error here? Because we have not used parenthesis like this. All right, with this, let's save the changes. So now, whenever this button is clicked, it is going to dispatch the toggle custom input action. And based on that, the state will change. And here, if I click on this button, so nothing is happening here. That's because the value of this show custom input is not changing. It is always true. First of all, let me change the initial value to false. Okay. And now inside this class, I'm also going to write ng on init method. So we know that this ng on init gets called whenever the component is fully initialized. And I'm also going to implement on init interface. So to use this on init interface, we also need to import it from angular slash co. All right. And inside this, let's go ahead and let's subscribe to the state which this store is going to return us. So for that, let's say this dot store. And he from this store, we are going to select a state. Here I'm going to select the counter state. So we need to pass it as a string value so here we are selecting the counter state we want to subscribe to it this is going to return us an observable on this i'm going to call the subscribe method and to this subscribe method we are going to pass a callback function which will be executed every time a new data is emitted by this counter state and in here what we are going to do here we will say this dot show custom input equals here we are going to get the data. This data is going to receive the new state. So from that new state, we want to read the value of toggle and we want to assign it to this show custom input property. And with this, now if I save the changes and if we go to our application, initially you will see that that div is given. When I click on this plus button, that div is displayed and the button has changed to minus. When I click on minus, the button has changed to plus and the div is hidden. So this toggle is working as expected. Okay. Now, one thing which I want to show here is, let's go back to VS code. 
and inside this callback function which will be called whenever the counter state will change inside that i am going to write a console.log statement and here let's simply say toggle observable called okay and let's save the changes and what i'm also going to do is we are also subscribing to this counter state in counter value component so here also we are subscribing to that counter state right in here also i'm going to write this console.log statement and just like how we are assigning this subscription to a property and then we are unsubscribing from it same thing we also need to do inside this custom input component otherwise we might have some data leaks but we will do that later okay so i have added this console.log statement two places and here let's say counter observable called so at both the places if you see we are subscribing to this counter state here also we are subscribing to the counter state in the counter value component and here also we are subscribing to the counter state in the custom input component now let me save the changes and let's go back to our application and here let me open developer console and let me clear everything first now you see when i click on this plus button the state of toggle property will change and in that case we are expecting that it should be calling this callback function right and it should be logging toggle observable called let's see if that's the case when i click on this plus button you will see toggle observable called because the state of toggle has changed but the counter has not changed right the counter value is still zero but still you will see here this message counter observable called and this means that in the counter value component this callback function has also been executed but we have not changed the value of counter then why does this callback function is getting called i can understand that this callback function is called because the value of toggle state has changed so here we are simply reading the state and assigning the toggle but why is this callback function getting called because we are not changing the value of counter remember that here we have subscribed to a state here we have subscribed to this state so anything inside this state changes wherever we have subscribed to that state there the callback function will be called that means the component will be notified so even though we are only changing the toggle value so we are changing it to true or false but since here since in the custom input component we have subscribed to the counter state inside this counter state the toggle value will change that means this state has changed and since this state has changed any component which has subscribed to this state they will be notified and currently we have two components we have this custom input component so this component will be notified about that change that's why this callback function is getting executed and we also have this counter value component which has subscribed to that counter state so this component will also be notified about that change and that's why this callback function is also getting executed i hope you got the point so it does not matter which property inside the counter state changes if i click on this increment button in that case also in both the components where we have subscribed to the counter state it is getting notified about that and that's why we see this message if i change the value of toggle in that case also the counter state has changed the toggle property in the counter state has changed and that's why whichever component has subscribed to that counter state they will be notified and that's why we can see both these messages counter observable called and toggle observable called now here the problem is currently we have only two properties and in two different components we are subscribing to these two properties but if we have a lot of properties let's say in this counter state i have 10 properties 10 states and i have subscribed to the counter state in 10 or 50 different components then in that case any one property in this state will change it is going to notify all those components 
and it is going to execute the callback functions which we want to execute for subscription for all those components there is only one component which might be interested in the change data but all the components will be notified about that and the callback function which we have passed to the subscribe method it will be executed for all those components so all those components which has subscribed to this counter state for that this callback function will be executed and it can significantly affect the performance of your application now what is the solution here the solution is let's say in this component in this custom input component i'm only interested in the change of this toggle property so i want this custom input component to be notified only when the value of toggle property changes in the same way in the counter value component i'm only interested in the counter property of the counter state so i want this component to be notified about the change only when the counter property has changed how we can achieve this we can achieve this with the help of feature selectors so in the next lecture we are going to learn about feature selectors this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day